Court I'd like to address. The first is the uh, updated pricing from Dominion Construction. The Multiplex Steering Committee has recently requested that Dominion Construction provide them with a cost update, which was done. The application we have to the provincial and federal governments, according to Dominion Construction, would be approximately $63 million, which leaves a $26 million funding shortfall. Mayor McBain, you said this decision wasn't made in camera, but uh, the, the motion we just passed followed a 40-minute in-camera session. And we have these unelected people come out of an in-camera session, <clears throat> say that they don't really have a lot of regard for the price that the administration is submitting based on the request of the company they asked for. And I remember one of the committee members saying, there are other options to finance this. And Mayor McBain, you at that time asked, well, what might those be? And I'm sure you recall the member of the committee saying, well, we're not prepared to say it this time. I'm wondering, is it good enough for the mayor and Councillor Sagal Hendry to have a, a committee member say, ah, oh, those prices, we, we don't agree with those prices that the administration's providing us. There are other ways, but we don't want to tell you. Is that acceptable for how we operate the city of Moose Jaw? And we plunge ahead spending more money? The only progress I see is the project keeps growing in size, we keep violating our tender policy, we keep having more and more in-camera sessions of unelected people. How is it going forward except just the dis throwing out sole source money for environmental impacts when we already know that that site is the most expensive and the program requirements that we're applying to say you should be pursuing the most cost effective options? Um. I think there's obviously more to, co to, uh, to consider besides which is the cheapest place. Perhaps there's some land out at Tuxford we could get for less money. I don't think that's where we need to go. Um, <clears throat> I think that um, there's probably a reason Chilliwack has attracted so many people to its city. It could be its good building that it's built. All right. We are looking for the very best opportunity for the citizens of Moose Jaw and one that is affordable. I look at what's in these reports for costing, and Councillor Sagal Hendry says what's most affordable for the taxpayers of Moose Jaw, and you know, you're getting a direct recommendation from these reports that the downtown site is the most expensive, yet we're still going down that path, and something is being discussed in these in-camera meetings because, as I stated at the, at the beginning of, of these minutes in the comment, is that you know, we get this good report that the downtown site is the least favorable and the committee goes in camera and somehow comes to the decision that, well, we got to keep going. We got to keep spending more money on the downtown site and we got to keep spending more money. City the size of Moose Jaw, pick the site that the taxpayers own. You know, we've got some funding in place. Start fundraising. Let's get this project going and get off of the downtown site. It's going to cost the city money, more money. We got a $26 million shortfall. Big elephant in the room. Nobody's talking about it. Page four of this report. The third last paragraph says, of the Dominion Construction Estimates. Remember, Dominion Construction is the company that the Multiplex Group wanted to provide prices until they got to prices. Page three of the report states, this is authored by our Director of Parks and Recreation. The estimates, that being the one that shows the project we've sent off to Ottawa and Regina is, is probably about 63 million now. The estimates do not include any increase in construction costs that may be required to address specific site conditions as identified in the geotechnical environmental site assessment reports. Councillor Looning hits the nail on the head. Those of us who are here to represent taxpayers have reports from the administration that show that this project has a significant shortfall. Those reports are being ignored as our policy for tendering is being ignored, why would you spend more money, good money after bad, when you have not even begun to address the shortfall? Is that how we operate the city of Moose Jaw now? We can ignore administration reports? 